Welcome to another Witcher video guys. So literally about an hour ago now, they revealed a lot of new information surrounding Thronebreaker, which is a new original Witcher story that I believe will be kind of an extension from the Gwent base game. So you may be wondering, what's all the new information that's come out and why have I bothered to make a video on it? Thronebreaker was announced a long time ago, why make one now? And it's basically because they've released a trailer, which looks awesome by the way, I'd recommend checking that out, and also they've released a lot of information surrounding the actual gameplay of this game. Initially, I was under the impression it would literally just be kind of like the Hearthstone campaign, where you just kind of click and then you play a card game and then so on and so on, you go through it then you're done, but this looks like they're actually going to make a proper full-on game. So, this is the first image I'm going to show you, and on the Witcher Tales website, it simply states, travel to never before seen kingdoms, and you can see from this UI and screen that it looks like you literally get to move around in this game space and you actually get to walk around and do stuff. It's not not just using cards to battle, there's actually an entire game around this. And as you can see from this image, it looks like we get to go to Mahakam, which is pretty cool. Now obviously this game isn't going to look anything like The Witcher 1, 2 or 3, it's a completely different style, but honestly it looks kind of cool to be honest, it looks like it's a painting that's been drawn and we get to act out that painting. I think it looks really interesting. So the next image is Prepare for War, and the caption under it says manage resources and develop units in your very own customizable battle camp. So as I said before, there's a lot more to this than just playing Gwen. You actually get to develop things and have a whole story surrounding this. This actually looks like a proper game with an actual story. So you see the next caption is lead your army into epic battles and it states engage in story battles using an army built from characters you meet and interact with during your journey. I get the whole concept of it now. You basically play through this story and I reckon depending on what your decisions are, you can meet different characters and recruit them into your army or your, I guess, cards. Then you can use those characters to actually have battles with other characters, so it's actually a very clever way of doing the story. And it looks like the main character we play as in this game is Queen Meave, as below under the character section of this website, it says that Thronebreaker's regal tale is cast with rich, multi-dimensional characters, some will join you as you lead Queen Meave in her quest, others you will have to face on the battlefield. And below you can see the characters that are going to be prominent in this game. So there's Reynard Odo, Broverhog, Gascon, Ardal Aip de Hay, King Demaven III, and of course Queen Meave. And for those of you who don't know who Queen Meave is, she was the Queen of Rivia and Lyria. So an interesting thing as well is at the start of the trailer you can hear a child talking, and I believe that it must be the child shown in the picture as you can see from the Thronebreaker picture I have on screen. And I believe it may be her son as she does actually have two sons. So the final main section of this website details the gameplay a little bit more, and I'll read that for you now. So you can see here, it says exploration and activities, from saving a village from a horde of monsters, to looking for treasure hidden amongst ancient ruins, to scouring for resources to upgrade your army and camp, the world of Thronebreaker is bustling with things to do. Story battles and challenges? The battles in Thronebreaker utilise gameplay mechanics from Gwent the Witcher card game, custom tailored for storytelling purposes. It'll be your role as commander to wisely use the unique skills and abilities of your army to lead it to victory. So yeah, this game is a completely separate game to Gwent, but it uses a lot of the Gwent base game mechanics. That's what I meant as in it builds off that game. Between battles and exploration, you'll train and recruit units, unlock new skills, and work on your tactics. And when you're not strategizing, you'll be trading resources with merchants, or sharing war stories with comrades. So yeah, it looks like pretty much you have a base camp, and then you can go out into the world and try and upgrade this camp, make it better, use this camp as a way to battle people. And also, I feel as if maybe you may be able to send back people you meet on your journey to this camp and then you can use them in your, I guess, kind of Gwent deck to be able to fight other people. And finally, one of the most interesting sections I feel like is the choices and consequences section. Your journey will be full of difficult choices that will influence the state of the world around you. Whatever you decide, you will have to live with the consequences, desertion, betrayal, or even death. So yet again, I feel as if perhaps if you go one way instead of the other, you get a different Gwent character to use in your deck and things like that. I think it'll be pretty interesting, and I'm honestly looking forward to playing the story. Anything new with The Witcher is amazing, and the scope of this 
game feels much bigger than I initially thought, so I can't wait guys. So you can see in this bit at the bottom, it basically says there'll be 30 hours of gameplay, 100 plus tailor made card battles, never seen before lands and characters, and 20 brand new cards for Gwen. So it looks really cool, I like the idea of going to a few extra places in The Witcher that we hear about but never actually get to go to in any of the games. It may be interesting as it looks like they're going to be adding new lore to at least their game canon, which could be a cool thing for me to make a video on in the future, what exactly has changed. If you guys want that, be sure to tell me in the comments down below. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it. I'll do videos like this whenever anything to do with The Witcher comes out that's interesting, be it Netflix, the games, or even the books. So be sure to like the video if you want to see more of this, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of those sort of videos too. As always, be sure to follow me on Twitter, I do updates on there whenever anything interesting happens. In fact, when this trailer was posted on YouTube, I tweeted it out as I just want to let as much of you know about this as possible. I imagine most of you will have been subscribed to the Witcher channel anyway and will have probably heard about it, but I just enjoyed to tweet about this sort of thing. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, make sure you don't miss any tweets where I update you on videos and everything to do with the channel. I'd recommend going and doing that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'll be back to the schedule soon. I've been very busy recently, but if you want to make sure you don't miss the streams when I do stream, be sure to go and follow me on there. Thank you to every single one of you that does that. And finally, as always, Always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. It's so, so kind what you do. You really help out with the channel. It's just really great. So thank you to every single one of you that donates to me on Patreon. If any of you guys want to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or donate to me on Patreon, all the links are in the description. And also, I actually have a Reddit. If you guys want to join that, be sure to check that out in the description. And if you want to post on there, feel free to post whatever you want. Just follow the rules. And thank you to every single one of you that does all those things. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Have an awesome rest of the week.